Hey everybody, it's Green Eagle Zero One here today with um pretty much a review, or I'm just gonna be talking about Geek Tool, which is an application you can get for your Mac out of the, off the um, Mac Store. So yeah, stay tuned to watch. Okay, so pretty much uh, you already see my whole uh, desktop pretty much here. I got this wallpaper from um, Wallpapers HD Lite, you know. Um, you know, you could just get that by going, opening it up. Oh, this you, um, that this application you can get off the Mac Store also. So just type in water, and it's just scroll down, and it'll be here as of October. 1 12 40 p.m. you can find it right here because if you check this out like on another day it'll probably be different or something because I think this is always changing so yeah okay so then pretty much you know you can get any wallpaper and then with geek tool you open it up and pretty much what you do is what you do is like you just oh come on you just drag you can drag a file an image or a shell onto your desktop. So um, there are the codes to do them. So look, uh, well the image is pretty sim uh, simple. So if you just put that right there, you could just press set local path, and you could just pick one of your images. Bam, open. And there you've got your image right there. I have a flower, and then you can just move it. Let me move this up. Move it to anywhere you want. Bam. Have an image. So, um, and if you want to delete, just press X. And then, here are the settings. So, if you want to, for example, do, um, like I have it here. Oh, dang. Wait a second. It's up. This is pretty much uh, a clock with, like, this tells you the time, uh, PM or AM, the month, the, uh, the date. And the weather, the weather, um, you, you could, well, just search, I, I might make another um, video later on showing you how to do the weather. So then pretty much what you do is, uh, well, if you want to do the clock, let's press on that, the command right here, it's this right here, so let me just make that bigger for you. Copy, paste, let's make this much bigger. Uh -huh. I never use text editor, that's why. Oh, come on. Do, 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 do. Well, I don't know if you could read that. Let's make it shadowed. No, that was just weird. Underline. Other. Okay, right, well, there you can see it. It's date, the code for um, for pretty much the the time. Wait, is this for the time? Wait a second. That is for. Yes, the time. For the time, you pretty much press date plus quotation mark percentage. I or something. Colon mark, uh, percentage, um, quotation mark. Uh, I'll have in the description. So pretty much all these I'll have in the description. Um, yeah, pretty much done. And uh, it'll be in the description. All right, I'll put like clock, you know, and then I'll, I'll put it there. You just can copy paste on here. So now pretty much what you do is you, if you want to do a shell, for example, it, like the clock. All these right here are shells. So if you except for the the picture of the the sun with the clouds, that's an image. That's the weather, weather which I'll show in another video. So pretty much just drag a shell and then the command, you type in the command here. So if you want to do for example the clock, you just copy this. Okay. Bam. Oops, wait a second. Bam. Now you can't see it, but it's right there. So let's make the font. You can also press here to click font. 
click that. Let's make it uh, green. And let's make it Make it four or six. Bam. And there's your time. So that's pretty much how you do that, and then you could just delete it like that. And if you're wondering what type of uh, writing I used uh, for all this, I used I use uh, where is it? I use Helvetica New or New. I don't know how you can pronounce the um, that. And then I use Ultralight. So if you ever want to use that, and then this. The big one is 288 October. Oh, you know, you could just do your, you know, figure out the size of that you want the font to be. So, um, I don't think that makes sense. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much Geek Tool. And, you know, you can also drag files and whatnot onto your desktop also. And, yeah, you could just pretty much customize it to however you want it. So thanks for watching again and um, stay tuned for another video where I might teach you guys how to use the weather. And, and also um, be sure to check out my other videos that are like, you know, reviews of ROMs for the Motorola Droid 1 and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.